So today we're going to work on the first steps of the goldfish layer mask project. Um, here in Schoology, you can find this zip folder, which if you click on it, it will download. Mine is down here. Sometimes yours show up up here, um, but I am just going to show in the finder. And it's a zip folder, so if it doesn't automatically open, just click on it and it's gonna um, open up into a blue folder. There are two files in here. The finished is for your reference. Um, so I am gonna open that one just to have as a reference. This is what we're aiming for. We're trying to replicate this to an extent. It does not have to be perfectly the exact same you can take your own artistic license but um, we are trying to replicate this so that we can learn the skills that went into making this surreal photo montage so um, I'm gonna go back into my finder and open the start and the start file has every layer that you need to create this project so first things first if you'll notice in the the finished product we do not have all of these fish so our first step is going to be to minimize the number of fish you can pick whichever ones you want you don't have to use the exact same ones that are used in the other image but we're gonna pick like three maybe four if you want and to do that I'm gonna choose that layer and I'm gonna lasso some fish and round them up. I use the lasso tool right here. Um, there are a few lasso tools you can use for selection. You can also use um, the like marquee tools, but with a kind of a regular shaped, strangely spaced items, the lasso tool is probably your best bet. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to use that lasso to just wrap around a fish. You can give it as much wiggle room distance as you want. Once I have it selected, I am going to cut and paste it to create a new layer for it. So I can go up here to edit, cut, edit, paste, and then s get the selection tool to move it, or the move tool to move it. Um, or I can also use shortcuts. So for the next one, I will talk you through the shortcuts. I'm going to pick another one. I'm going to pick, I'll choose this one. Lasso around it. This time I'm going to use shortcuts. So I'm going to, on my keyboard, I'm clicking Command X. Oop. And if you get this, it's because I didn't pick the layer. I need to pick this fishy, this whole fishy layer because there was nothing to cut out of the new fishy layer that I made. So this is second fish. I've selected the fish. I've selected the right layer. I'm going to command X and I'm going to command V to paste. That's command X and command V. We're going to move it back to where I want it to be. Maybe I want it to be a little lower than it was. And then choose that layer again. Lasso tool. We'll choose this guy. Great. Command X to cut. Command V to paste. Move tool. We'll get him back in here. Now, there are two things that I'm going to do to set myself up right. I'm going to turn off the rest of the fish. Get them out of the way. And then I am going to rename the layers. So I'm going to double click on this one and I'm going to call it um, fish. Well, let's see, what do I want to call it? Fish top or top fish. I could have named it. I'm going to do this one, double click fish middle and this one fish bottom. Great. 
So those are labeled, so I'm going to very quickly be able to remember which one is which. Now, I need to get rid of some of this grainy white background. To do that, there are a couple options. The first thing I'm going to start with is using the magic wand. So I've selected the fish top. I'm going to go here, the fourth um, icon down, to the selection tool. I'm going to hold it, click and hold, until my options come up. You have another option that my instance of Photoshop doesn't have, <clears throat> which is an object select. And that could be helpful here too. Um, but I'm going to use select subject in a moment and you'll see um, another way to do that. So I'm going to use the magic wand tool. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Got to... Let's get her going. There we go. And I am going to click on some space, some of the stuff that I want to get rid of, and it selects everything that's similar to it. Um, I'm going to do Command D to deselect, which you can find here too. Deselect Command D. Um, and anywhere that I pick, it's going to select something similar. Um, if you have this selected, the two joined squares, you can just keep adding to what you've picked until you think you've got most of it. Some of you will be lucky, and the first thing you pick will select a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but I am just adding to what I've picked until yeah that's a lot so now I'm going to just hit my delete key just delete and all of those spaces cleared so I'm going to do command D to deselect so again that's command D deselect and my fish doesn't look the best I maybe cut off a little too much and if I feel that way then I can always undo control Z a couple times so let's edit undo just command Z um, and I could deselect and go back to the drawing board if I want to I could do a little bit at a time deselecting in between to see where I went wrong but I think that's just how the cookie is going to crumble here Okay, the other option that I have, deselect, is to create a mask. So I'm gonna go to select subject and use this layer mask icon, the rectangle with the circle cut out. And as long as I have this black layer mask selected, I can use my paintbrush in black and in white to add or subtract to my fish. So let's say I don't want this little piece. By painting it with black, I'm going to harden this up a little bit. By painting it with black, I can make it disappear. Um, if I want to really get into the fine details of deleting this white, then I could make my I could make my brush as small as a pixel. And I could really get in there and delete individual pixels. But you do not need to go this in depth. This is going to take so much time. But if a, if one part is really bothering you, that is how you're going to do it. Um, the good thing about this is that if I go a little too far, I can always switch it to white and add, add it back in. Okay. So that is all I'm going to do with this guy this time. 
Um, you can also start with the select. So if I choose this guy, I'm on his layer, select subject, sorry, select subject. I'm already seeing that there are parts of this that I want to keep. So I'm going to switch over to the quick selection tool. Make this brush a little smaller. And I'm going to add that in. There we go. So I'm adding, I'm just tapping on parts that I do want to still be part of the fish. So that's pretty good. Do, do this. Great. I want that the whole fin. Great. So now that I've selected, I'm going to make my mask. That's a good start. And then I can go in with the magic wand. I suggest trying it both ways to see. So I switched over to this part of the f this part of the fish middle layer. Um, yeah, if that seems like too much, I can change the tolerance. Oh, the tolerance is all the way at 100. So I'm going to deselect. The tolerance up here is how close of a similar pixel it has to be to be selected. So I'm going to lower that down to like 35. And I'm going to click on this. And delete. Click on this. And delete. Click here, delete. So maybe this way will work better for you. Maybe the other way will work better for you. But try it out. See how it goes. And um, you can use whichever system is seems to be the most functional for you. Okay. I'm pretty happy with this one. So we've desel we're going to deselect. And we'll move on to the bottom fish fish bottom. Okay, I'm going to do this one, select, subject, mask. That's pretty good. Choose the fish image layer, magic wand, take this out, take some of this out. There we go. Now, I am pretty happy with this. And I can deselect, that's Command D. Zoom back out. And look at that, we've got three cleaned up fish. <coughs> now, let's take a look at the girl in the boat with the tree. These three elements, we want to look cohesive. So in order to get them cohesive, we're going to have to make some masks and we're going to have to play around with that paintbrush to bring things forward and back and smooth things out. So I'm going to start with this guy, with the tree. I'm either, even going to layer, sorry, I am going to name the layer to tree. I'm going to click on the boat. It's already labeled. I click on the girl, double click girl, but let's look at the tree. I am going to select subject layer mask with the boat. I am going to select subject layer mask with the girl. I'm going to select subject layer mask. Whoa, that didn't work. Oh, that's so weird. That didn't happen to me last time. Deselect girl. Select subject. Hmm, that's so odd. But if that happens to you, the great thing is that we have other selection tools. So I'm going to hold this and go back to a quick selection. 
I am going to give her a little swipe. And now I've got all of her. All of her. And I will add the layer mask. So now we can use that paintbrush to smooth things over from one piece to the next. So here I am going to look at the boat. I'm going to I'm going to put the tree behind the boat for a second just so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to zoom in here. And I really don't want this sweeping thing. So I'm going to, I'm in paintbrush. I'm going to choose the boat layer mask and use my paintbrush to much bigger to just oop other way I need the black and remove it now there was another piece here if I want that piece I can just add it back in with the white paintbrush and I'm not going to worry too much about this little piece because I'm going to cover it up with the tree. I'm going to bring the tree back up so it's over top. I'm going to choose the black layer mask here and I am going to I am going to remove a little bit of the bottom of the tree. I'm going a little bit at a time. If you want it to be a nice crisp edge you can turn the hardness up way high um, if you want it to look a little softer you can turn it way down so I'm going a little bit at a time so that it's going to be easy for me to command Z undo if I do too much so I've got it slimmed down at the bottom I'm just doing these tiny little clicks to smooth things out using just the edge of my brush. And then if I go too far, I'm just a quick Command Z away from, from going back. Now I am going to turn the hardness way down so it's super soft. I'm just gonna give it a little fade. There you go. So that looks pretty seamless. It looks like the tree is growing right out of the front of the boat. You can kind of arrange that however you want. Um, you don't have to do it exactly like me. But the other element here is we want the girl to look a little bit more like she's inside the boat. And to do that, I'm going to click on her mask, the black for the girl. And I'm going to use that black and white again. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And there is an oar right next to her. So if I want to see that oar, I can remove her dress. I can also make the edge harder and switch my colors down here. And bring her dress back up right to the edge of the oar. Now you could have her, some of her dress over, you could have all of her dress tucked in. So I could come along here and tuck her dress all the way in. So I'm gonna shimmy it right back up. There we go. Or I could switch it back turn that hardness down a little bit and I could f oops that was a control Z to fix it I'm going to add it back in I could put part of her dress over the front which I think is a cool effect because it looks like her her skirts just a little too big for the boat and you can play with that as much as you'd like. 
when you're happy with it, you have pretty much everything set up here. I'm going to play around with this a little bit. Oh, that's the full edge of our skirt. Okay. Um, you have everything, all of these foreground objects set up. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about this cloud layer and how to make things look cohesive there. Um, and then we're going to look at how to do the sky and adjust the colors of the layers to look a little bit more like our Why do these look the same? I'm sorry. Our finished product. All right, well, whatever. We are done.